Mike Gesicki is an incredible pass-catching tight end, but blocking is something he is continuing to work on. He would be amazing in Green Bay with the Packers, my two favorite players on the Dolphins roster are Mike Gesicki and Christian Wilkins. Gesicki has been the subject of many trade rumors and speculation but he wants to be with the Dolphins, someone spoke with his father recently and his dad said that Mike wants to remain in Miami. If we look at Gesicki over the last year, we can see that is likely true. Consider that Mike has not asked for a trade at any point. Even when he was entering his final contract year, he didn't make any issue with the dragging conversations and when Miami opted for the franchise tag, Gesicki willingly signed it from his vacation somewhere in an island paradise, Green Bay Packers could make Aaron Rodgers happy by adding Mike Gesicki. This year, Gesicki's use as a receiver has dwindled so much he isn't a viable roster spot on a fantasy football team. He will be lucky if he hits 500 yards receiving on the year. Gesicki is quietly doing his best to do what the Dolphins want him to do but if he does get traded, the Green Bay Packers would be an ideal fit, Aaron Rodgers may have become an eccentric quarterback over the years but he does like his tight ends, and the Packers haven't had a pure pass-catching tight end in a long time. Gesicki would thrive in the Green Bay offense and his presence could spark a big turnaround for a franchise that was expected to be a Super Bowl contender this year. So far, they will be lucky to win the division. Rodgers needs another receiver with great hands and Gesicki has great hands. He is a red zone threat and a big target who is quarterback friendly. Rodgers doesn't have to be perfect with his throws. Gesicki is a threat from the inline tight end spot and as a slot receiver which gives the Packers more than a single option, I would guess that given the current state of the Green Bay receiving group, Gesicki would become an instant favorite target of Rodgers. If the Dolphins want to sweeten the deal a bit, send them Cedric Wilson, Jr. as well. He is misused in Miami. The Dolphins could help Green Bay immediately, will Miami pull the trigger on a Gesicki deal with any team? That depends. The NFL compensatory formula would put Gesicki at a third-round compensation but what fans fail to realize is that any signing of a free agent will offset that and it could fall to a lower round or not be compensated at all depending on what Miami does in free agency. This line of thinking has many believing that the Dolphins will not take less than a second-round pick but they should at least be open to the possibility of less. Maybe more so if another player is involved, will Mike Gesicki get traded? Honestly, I don't think he will. The Dolphins like his team-first attitude and while he may not fit the mold of what Mike McDaniel wants in a tight end, he works hard and doesn't complain. The bigger question is will Miami try to re-sign him after the season? That is a lot more unlikely than making a trade. Of course, that too could be part of any trade opportunities. Gesicki will need a long-term deal with his new team.